Although India is not part of UNHCR Refugee Convention, it has given importance to non-refoulement by offering shelter to refugees. It has also allowed nationalization of these refugees after 11 years of residency in India. The CAA is simply a minor amendment to the already existing refugee law, but is de being deliberately misinterpreted by groups with vested interests. This act only expedites the citizenship by nationalization of the minority communities in Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh. It gives individuals citizenship after five years of residency instead of the original 11 years. This is a minor relief to the uh, persecuted minorities of these three countries who have come to India before 31st December 2014. It clear the, clearly does not override the Indian citizenship law's core principle of offering asylum to people from other neighboring or non-neighboring countries irrespective of their religion or region. The CAA is not anti-Muslim, as is being falsely portrayed. It does not stop Muslims from applying for asylum. As Muslims are the majority population in these three countries and are not persecuted to, due to their religion, the act specifically applies only to minority communities residing there. However, if a Muslim from these countries seeks asylum, India would consider it on a case-by-case -case basis. It is important to appreciate that the CAA deals with refugees only and does not affect Indian citizens in any way. Due to pervasive persecution, the minority numbers are steadily decreasing in these three countries and we welcome India's decision to offer relief to these beleaguered communities. India has a legal, historical and civilization obligation to the now endangered religious minorities in these three neighboring countries and the CAA is a step in the right direction. Thank you. We would uh, like to thank the following organizations for endorsing this press note. And again, like I said before, we'd welcome any other communities who would like to come and put in their name uh, along with this press note. Uh, the Bengali Hindu Adarshan. Uh, okay. Jai Hind. The Friends of India Society International, Jai The Hindu Council of North UK, Jai The Hindu Council of Brent, Jai The Hindu Council of Birmingham, Jai The Hindu Council of UK, Jai The Hindu Forum of Britain, Jai Hindu Swayam Sevak Sangh, Jai Inspiring Indian Women, Jai Jabu and Kashmir Study Circle, Jai Karuna Adina Anivasi Hindu Gala Ukuta UK. Lancaster and Morikam Hindu Society. Mandhata Samaj. National Council of Patidar Samaj. National Council of Gujarati Organization. Overseas Friends of BJP. Pakistan Hindu Forum UK. Rajasthan Association UK. Sangamam UK. Shri Pajapati Association. Shri Sita Rama Kalyanam London. Shri Durga Mandir Trust. Telugu Association of Birmingham. Telugu Association of Basingstoke. UK Telugu Hindu Organization. Uttar Pradesh Community Association. And Vishwa Hindu Parishad UK. Can we uh, request the representatives of these organizations to please come forward so that we can quickly take a picture and I would just give a, a last word uh, by uh, Veena Ji. Hello. First of all, I wanted to say that we have an organization uh, Asian Bereavement Care, and we would like to have our name added to it as well. Okay? Uh, I just wanted to say a quick word. Whenever Hindu Sikhs and girls, etc., kidnapped, atrocities are committed against the Hindu community and the Sikh community, Jains, Buddhists, no press release is given about it, no media talks about it. But there is one story that the Telegraph has carried, and you can see it in telegraph.co.uk 629 Christian girls were sold to Chinese 
as brides, as minor brides, child brides by Pakistan. When the human rights, Christian human rights, approached Pakistan foreign ministry, they said, Shari, we can't do anything about it because it will affect our CPAC relations with China. So remember, at least 629 Christian girls who were kidnapped, raped, sold to the Chinese, where I did get a mention in Telegraph, you can go to telegraph.com.uk and read about it. Thank you.